PlaidLink is a powerful client-side library that handles all the UI needed to help a user get started with any of Plaid's products. But sometimes you can't use the Link SDK. Maybe it's because your company doesn't allow third-party SDKs in your app, or maybe it's because you don't have an app, or even a customer-facing website. But you still want your customers to use Plaid to connect to their banks. So what do you do? This is where Hosted Link can help. With Hosted Link, Plaid will create a unique URL hosted by us that you can send to your customers so that they can complete the link process. To get started with Hosted Link, create a link token like normal, but add the Hosted Link object to your request object. Add some parameters like is mobile app if you're planning on displaying this inside a mobile application or a completion redirect URI. Also in your request object, add a URL for a webhook receiver. That'll make it easier for you to complete the link process later. Then whenever you create a link token, you'll get back a Hosted Link URL that you can send to your users. You'll still also receive a link token. Hold on to that token even if you're not planning on using it because you'll need it to identify the session later and make sure it's associated with the right user. Then what? Well, if you're operating a business that doesn't have a customer facing website, the easiest thing is to just send this URL to your customer through say an email or a text message. From there, your user will be able to complete a link process at a URL hosted by Plaid. Along the way, you'll be receiving webhooks that will keep you updated of your user's progress. And when they're all done, you'll receive a session finished webhook. This will include the original link token, a status string, and an array containing a public token. Exchange this public token for an access token like you would any other public token. And again, use that original link token to match these up to the right user. Don't have a webhook receiver up and running? You can also make a call to link token get using the original link token string. You'll get back a full rundown of the user's status so far. Look for a finished at timestamp, which lets you know that the user is done with their session. Then look for the results item add results array, where you'll find the financial institution the user connected with, along with the public token you can exchange for an access token. Building a native iOS app? In your hosted link object, set is mobile app to true and include a completion redirect URI with any custom scheme you feel like. You don't have to register it anywhere, just pick something that looks nice. Then open up an AS web authentication session with a hosted link URL and the same custom scheme you just used. Your user will go through the authentication process in a separate view controller. When they're all done, iOS will attempt to open this completion redirect URI. If it matches the scheme you passed into the session, iOS will automatically close the window and call your callback handler. This handler will be called whether the user successfully completed the process or decided to exit out, so don't assume everything went well. Check your user's status the same way as before. Either make sure your server is listening for those webhooks or make a call to link token get. For best results, when creating a link token, you should also add a redirect URI that consists of a universal link that opens up your native app. This will make sure in the case of an app-to-app -app flow like the one Chase uses, Plaid will open up the Banks app, which will then redirect users back to your app where Plaid can continue the hosted link session. Building an Android app, the process is nearly the same, except you should create an intent filter with this custom URL scheme and host. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up the hosted link URL in a custom tab. When your user is done with the link process, Plaid will attempt to open this completion redirect URI, which should point to your intent filter. Android will open up the associated activity, and then either in your on create or your on new intent handler, you'll receive the URL, which is your sign to check in with Plaid and make sure the user session completed successfully. This has been Hosted Link in three minutes. For more details, check out our documentation and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting videos like this one. Now if you'll excuse me, my coffee's getting cold.